Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to see how we can make a cool and professional scene using the elements of the PixFlow Cyberpunk HUD pack. As you can see, Cyberpunk HUD is categorized into 19 different sections, covering a wide variety of fields like elements, warnings, medical elements, and so on. All these templates are highly customizable, as I will show you in a moment, so let's begin. First things first, I'm gonna move my footage to Comp to start my project. For this project, I only need 5 seconds of the video, so let's go to the 5 second mark, pressing N to set my timing, and then right click and trim Comp. Now I need the tracker panel. You can find the panel here in the window menu. Okay, now I'm gonna click the track camera and after the processing is done, it has given me some tracking points to work with. For this part of the video, I'm going to select these six points, right click on them and then select set ground plane and origin. This will tell the other points to be in sync with these six. To test and see if everything is working fine, I'm gonna create a solid shape and then play the video. Hmm, yeah, it looks good, I can work with these. I'm gonna also check other points and see how they work and interact with each other. I will create solids on the ones I like so that later on I can replace them with the elements I want to use. And speaking of cyberpunk elements, let's do it now. Let's check out different categories and see which ones fit my video. This one looks good, so I'm gonna move it to After Effects. Always make sure to check the elements in After Effects too and see how it looks there. Okay, now to replace my solid with the cyberpunk elements, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and then drag the element onto the solid inside the timeline. After Effects will automatically replace the solid with the new element. Now I'm gonna work on the rotation and scale of the element to make it look in place inside the scene. Hmm, looks perfect. Now, let's add another item. Maybe some circles. Okay, this one looks good. This time I want to add the circle on top of my previous element. To do that, I will duplicate the grid element and then replace it with the circle. Again, I will work with scale and position to put the element in place perfectly. It looks fine to me, but I also like it to cast a reflection onto the locker door. To do that, I will duplicate the circle element and add a fast box blur effect onto it. Changing the layer mode can make the effect look even more realistic. Try to check different modes and see which ones fits the bill. In this case, lighting works great. Now, all I need to do is working with the positioning and blur effect to make it look like an actual reflection. Time for another element. This time I'm gonna add one from the list of descriptions. Like the way I added the circle, now I'm gonna add the description element.
To add the reflections, I will just duplicate the settings from the circle and add it to the description. Now that I look at it, I think I should change the color of the description element. To do so, I'm gonna go to the setting of the elements and work with the colors to make a suitable one for this video. Okay, let's see how it all looks now. I think I'm gonna add another fast box to the circle because I want it to look more three-dimensional. Adding a brightness and contrast effect can also help to make the effect look more like a halo, giving more of that 3D look. As of before, positioning, scaling and opacity sliders are your best friends here. Let's move to another part of the scene and add a warning element. Everything is the same as before, work with colors, scaling, etc. to make it suit the scene. That's a big part of this element pack, making the work easy and intuitive. I'm just gonna add different elements and fit them into the scene. Now, let's do something different with this globe. I want it to look as if it's behind this wall. Doing so is as easy as just masking it. Just remember to animate the mask. Simple and easy. Now that we are on a roll, let's add this camera element and make it look like the boxer dude is watching a video in it. So after I add the element, I will work inside the setting of the comp, adding the video and then using mats to fit it inside the element. To do so, I'm gonna look for the frame timeline. There it is, so I'm gonna copy and paste it. Now I have to add the fill to this frame and change it to alpha mat. Cool, now it looks like the video is playing inside the frame. To make the element look as if it's in front of the boxer, I have to make a mask for him. Roto brush is great for doing so, I just need to work with settings and check everything is fine while the video is going forward.
And this is how you can create a futuristic looking scene with cyberpunk elements from Pixflow. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop of learning.